All right, spring is crappie season throughout the south. Here in South Louisiana, we call them sockele, and our season really kicks off right about now in February. But for the next three or four months throughout the south, people will be targeting these tasty fish. They're really, really delicious, and that makes them just absolutely irresistible, just a blast to catch. And without question, the most popular soft plastics for crappie are bobby garlands. They make a wide variety of different soft plastics for different applications. And so I really wanted to discover which ones I want to use this season. So I bought a bunch of them. I'm going to put them in the pool. I'm at some good friends' house, Jill and Dan McNeil. They always let me borrow their pool for pool tests. So let me show you the ones we've got. All right, we got the swimming minnow. We've got the Mo Glow Pile Diver. We've got the Minnow Minder. We've got the Hyper Grub, the Slab Doctor, the Slab Hunter Minnow, the Baby Shad Swimmer, the Stroller, the Slab Slayer, and the original Baby Shad. So I'm gonna be testing these on three different aspects. The first is gonna be just tight lined and jigged. The way I really began fishing these a couple of years ago with my good buddy Jeff Brule, and it's proven very, very effective. I know a lot of you already do it, but it's kind of new to us. So I'm gonna jig the baits in front of the camera. I'm gonna give each type a score. Now I'll tell you, my bias is action. And I know sometimes you wanna fish a bait that doesn't have a lot of action, maybe after a cold front or something like that. But in general terms, I like my baits to have some action. So that is my bias, I'll admit it up front. In addition to jigging them in front of the camera, I'm also gonna do a straight retrieve to also see how they look. And then a very, very effective and fun way to fish them here in South Louisiana is under a cork. Maybe you call it a bobber. Much slower presentation, obviously, but super, super effective, quite deadly. And heck, I mean, everybody loves to see a corker down, right? That's fun for everybody. All right, so let's get these in the water. Oh, first, let me show you my setup. If you've seen previous pool tests, you've seen this before, but let me show it to you now in case some of you are new. Okay, I've got my push pole. Tied to that, I got 20 pound mono that I have fished through the top of a traffic cone. Mounted on top of the traffic cone, I have a GoPro. I'm gonna lower that into the water and run everything in front of that so we can see how it looks. It's a janky setup, but it works. All right, I'm eager to get this one started. Let's see how these baits look. All right, first off, I got the Baby Shad Swimmer. Now I've got all these rigged on a 16th ounce jig head. Let's see how this one looks. All right, this one looks about how I expected when it's jigged. There's a little bit of motion out of the tail but not as much as some of the others we'll see. There's also a little bit of motion on the tail on a straight retrieve, but really not a ton. And under a cork, it looks pretty much like a stick. All right, next up is the swimming minnow. This one looks really good, just straight out of the package. Let's see how it looks in the water. All right, this one jig was a big disappointment. That's also true in the straight retrieve. The tail locks up and doesn't move much at all. The same is true under a cork. Swimming minnow looks great out of the package, but it's ho-hum in the water. All right, next we got the pile diver. This one's got all kinds of arms and legs hanging off of it. Should be a ton of action on this. Let's take a look. Much like the swimming minnow, the legs of the pile diver don't do a whole lot when jigged. It 
or when straight retrieved. Under a cork, the legs lock up and don't add a lot of tantalizing action that would encourage a reluctant fish to bite. And now we've got the minnow minder. This one's got two kind of legs hanging off the back of it. Let's take a look at it. All right, I wasn't expecting this one to have a ton of action. And it's not as great as some of the others we'll see. But it actually performed better than expected when jigged. That wasn't true, however, on the straight retrieve. Under a cork, though, the body kind of folds in half on each twitch, and the legs vibrate a bit when the lure settles. All right, now we got the hyper grub, and I'll admit, straight out of the package, this is my favorite one. I think it's gonna have a tremendous amount of action. This is probably the one I'd most likely fish, but who knows, it might look like trash in the water. Let's take a look. Nope, my instincts were correct. This one looks so good, I wanted to jump in the pool and eat it myself. That was true when jigged, and also when straight retrieved. and it looked just phenomenal under a cork. All right, next we got the slab doctor. This one's got a couple of legs dangling off the back of it with some you know, little paddle tails on here. Let's take a look at it. To be honest, I wasn't expecting much from this one, but was pleasantly surprised. The legs shake and shimmy when the lure settles, and it looks like a small frog each time it rockets up. The legs had better than average motion on the straight retrieve as well. Also under a cork, it looked a good bit better than average. All right, next we have the slab hunter minnow. This one's ribbed on the bottom, so it's probably gonna move some water, have some vibration. It's also got a forked tail. Should look good in the water, but let's see. Man, I really like this one. I could feel the vibration of the lure in the rod. And wow, look at the action of that tail. That was equally evident on the straight retrieve and under a cork. You can really see it here in slow motion. All right, next I've got the stroller, also a bait that I think would look good, but let's find out together. Yep, when jig, this bait looks really good. 
lots of action out of that tail. And that continued on the straight retrieve. Not quite as much under court, but still more than some of the others. All right, next up we got the Slab Slayer. This one's got kind of a flat paddle tail. It's cupped on one side, so we'll see what that does to it. Definitely should have some action, let's see. Okay, I'm super unimpressed with the Slab Slayer. It just doesn't do a whole lot when jigged. or when straight retrieved. And under a cork, it's just meh. And last but not least, we've got the original Baby Shad. I can tell I'm not gonna like this one. It's got a straight tail. I'm sure it does provide some action, but I know a million, actually far more than that, millions of crappie have been caught on this thing. Very, very popular bait. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, my bias being one toward action, I'm just not a fan of the Baby Shad. The lure just doesn't do a whole lot when jigged. Or straight retrieved. Or under a cork. All right, that was certainly eye-opening. The next time I go sockelay fishing, I will absolutely have the Hyper Grub tied on. That and the Slab Hunter Minnow look absolutely fantastic. I expected the Hyper Grub to look great. I didn't expect this one to look quite as good as it did, but man, it looked great on the water. I can't wait to fish these baits. Can't wait for sockelay season. I mean, we're right on the beginning of it now here in South Louisiana. I know that's gonna spread north as the weeks move along. Just such a fun time of year, getting those fish up on the beds and having some really, really tasty meals. Can't wait for it. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed the video and got as much out of it as I did. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. You do that by clicking that button right there. Also, here's two videos YouTube thinks you'll like. Check those out if you can. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here at Marshman Masson. <laughs>